Julie Stauffer, Dustin Johnson, Suzanne Umball, Derek Jones, the town attorney, and Lisa Mullaney, some treasurer. Let's stand and pledge. <coughs> Pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Minutes for January 18th, 2017, regular session. Any additions or corrections? Citizens' input. Yes. Um, I had a question about the community garden uh -huh. and what plan that we had in place. It's my understanding last year that one family kind of pretty much <coughs> funded that and kind of put it together. And there was a few people that kind of came along and maybe helped and stuff and um, thought maybe we could do some fundraisers and maybe have a better plan this year to make that bigger and better and uh, not bump that on just maybe a couple people and how we could planting is I don't know maybe May 1st if we're not going to go from seed and so that's coming up yeah maybe we can uh, advertise on the sign or something to have a some kind of community meeting for the community garden or ideas. Is your wife going to want to that up again? Or? I'm sure she would. I mean, it, it worked out pretty good last year. It looked really nice. It did look nice. Well. She did a great job. Yeah. Okay. Call my wife. Can we love that? <laughs> well, maybe we can put something together and get more people involved. Maybe too. you could do a meeting at the DNR building, I think. Yeah. You know, or even here. Yeah. Anything else? Yes. I just have a question about the cemetery since the town board has taken it over. Are you allowed to plant like perennial flowers? next to a headstone or anything like that? Not on the, I guess I'm wrong, not on the new um, burial sites. No. That, What's new? No, no, no. It's throughout. It's nothing, everything that you have has to be placed on the foundations. Okay. So there's no planting of flowers, there's no planting of bushes. Okay. You know, stuff like that. That's what I needed to know. Yeah. Thank you. I say correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. I, I have a copy of the bylaws in the office if you want. You were okay. Oh. Left that open. <coughs> Anybody else? Yes. I don't know where this word bring it up or not, but um, the grant I came in and talked to you about in December. Uh, Brent Landis and I got a road. Down a verse, looked it over, made some adjustments to it, and we got I got submitted uh, 
Tuesday in time for the spring cycle, so we'll see what happens here. The total after um, the people came down to <coughs> Point Matty and the people from uh, AFC about the gas detectors totals $14,103 is what we applied for. Okay. It was the total for the grant, less than 10% from five from the council and five from the fire department. So the grant should be about $12,193.70 if I remember right. So right. sometime, hopefully, middle of April, we'll know. I think that's when they said that they start awarding grants is about first part of April, so we'll see what happens. All right. Thanks, Mark. Anybody else? Moving on. Old business. Attorney report. <coughs> I know that we've got uh, Chuck DeWitt here, Marshall County Building Inspector, and I think that I had sent the email that asked him to come because the council member requested that he be here concerning the, um, an exterior inspection that he did at the Speedway gas station. Um, so Chuck, I'm going to go ahead and let you talk and then that way you can get out of here if you want. Um, you're welcome to stay all night long if you want to. But <laughs> uh, okay. You don't have that on the presentation, you have pictures there? I have pictures, but yes, I don't have any uh, slides or maybe some people out here might want to see them have it. Um, as I looked at the building, the um, northeast side of it has deterioration where uh, the mortar is missing, um, falling away from the side of the building, uh, water's penetrating. We get under the east side where we have the electrical panel is, is rusted and rotted out, nothing there, and also you can see where there's more um, of that uh, mortar missing and falling out. Here we actually have larger cracks across the back where this old door or window used to be uh, coming apart. Um, that's on the southeast corner. When you get to the south, um, it's taken more weather. Um, the whole place where the window and everything was rotted, you can see cracks running down. I think there's structural damage here to the footers where uh, the corner goes down. And when you get to the roof, a uh, seam is broken out here, allowing water to run inside uh, from that area. And then also where the uh, cooling unit is there, it's um, rotted underneath that and sunken down. There's a completely rotted out area here that's allowing water to get to the inside as well as around where the old drain used to be. The, uh, um, and also the rotted area down in the south east corner of that roof too. The canopy um, has rust and damage there. It looks like the uh, main structure um, has lost uh, where it was galvanized, so that's going to allow the screws or bolts to penetrate and for that undercarriage to fall. The, the main steel structure seems to be okay. But uh, it was my recommendation that um, you know it be torn down rather than that area used for anything. It's it's deteriorated uh, to the point where it's not being safe for any use, and it's also in such an unsafe condition that it should be torn down. Those are my two recommendations to the council. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Chuck, appreciate you taking a look at that and doing this work and sending it to us. Um, again, the council member that maybe had some questions or wanted to know more about that doesn't present tonight. So um, I don't know if that leads to any other questions from any other council member. I think the report's pretty self-explanatory and I see what's going on. I guess if, if I'm Speedway, I'm thinking, well, maybe I can dump some money into this thing and, and fix it up. Do you think that's a possibility? No. <clears throat> It would, it, with my years of experience in construction, it would take more to 
repair that than it would to tear it down and build a brand new building. Um, you know, there's damage inside and, and underneath that we can't see, um, but with all the wetness and dampness, I don't believe there's any way that you can really salvage that building. Um, just a couple of other things to think about that you may want to put into your uh, proposal. Um, there's taxes that are paid on that every year. They're paying about $2,400 a year in taxes for two lots combined, uh, 15 for one and seven for the one to the south. And uh, one of the things I did find out from the assessor's office is if there's some way that the town were to get this property, you will have to pay taxes for at least one year. Uh, with the way that the laws have changed in the past, if the government entity took it over, taxes stopped, but now you'll have to pay taxes for one year. Now, there is an appeals process that you could go in and ask for um, reassessment on that since the property is worse condition than it was. So we did some quick math on it, probably can get it um, down to about half of that, but you're going to have to put that in for at least one year. Okay. Anybody have any questions for Chuck or anything about that? I'm going to tell you kind of where I think things are here with this issue in a minute. I have any questions for Chuck. It's what he says is self-explanatory. You can see that. Well, if you remember, it was, it's been, I think, two meetings ago, the first meeting in January, where the council said uh, to me to send a letter to Speedway basically saying, we want a time frame on when you're going to address these concerns with the building. Um, now, after this report, I don't know that it's so much addressing the concerns with the building as it is just to have it torn down and removed. Um, but all the same, the vote was for me to send a letter, and that hasn't changed. It would take another vote here from this council this evening to tell me not to send a letter and pursue a different course. I think it's still a good thing to do to send a letter and let them know, okay, uh, this is where we see things are in regards to the building, in regards to the public nuisance, which is a little different than even what Chuck was, was asked to look at and consider, and the unsafe building ordinances and statutes that Chuck definitely did consider. Um, so we kind of have two different means by which to, to go here. But I still think a letter to Speedway is, is A, what was voted for me to do, and now we have very specific information, which is what I was after. Um, so I think that's appropriate for the reason that it's already been voted for me to do that. Um, but B, to simply start at this point and issue an order sets in motion a whole chain of events in terms of them requiring a hearing. Uh, that's with our redevelopment commission. Uh, and there's time frames involved with that. In other words, if we decide that we're not getting any response or any uh, any action out of Speedway, uh, then that's something that we would recommend is, okay, we'll proceed under the unsafe building ordinance um, and try to have things remedied that way. But again, going to that step is something I would rather have the full council have a have a consideration on it and vote on that. But also, it, it like I say, it sets into motion some very specific time requirements and some very specific <coughs> steps that have to be followed that quite frankly I don't think we're prepared to do this evening. Um, so I'm still of the recommendation that I send the original as, or letter as originally uh, requested, but now I've got a little more information and a little more uh, things to tell speed. And it'll be a little different in terms of coming in and fixing and repairing, it's simply going to be to have it removed and demolished. And ask for a time timeline, and you know, if we don't get a response within a, a deadline, we can take other action. Okay, I think we need to stay with the letter. And then go, go forward from there. So, Gary, continue. <clears throat> Does anyone know if the tanks have been removed from there yet? Yes. Yes. I yeah. think that we've been told that they have been. We've already gone out down the cab and we are removed. One thing that still is available to the town is that 
we have a brownfield grant that can come in and do a phase one and a phase two on that property, even if the tanks are removed, to see if there's any needs any remediation for the soil or anything else around that. You have letters from uh, IDEM to the effect of uh, the tanks have been removed that's already been provided to the town council. Yeah, and then that takes care of it. But while I was talking about the background, Brownfield Grants, the other old building down the street, um, I think we are adding that to our list. Okay, Which other old building are you referring to that's a The other old gas station or yeah. service station. South of the park. South of the park. The south south of the park. park. Oh. Yes. <coughs> and Randy Dredges. And it is, uh, it's at least as in bad a shape as this building or worse, so. Do you guys want to put that in the form of a vote in terms of having me send this letter now with this additional information? Probably be the best. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I make a motion that we go forward with Derek sending Speedway the letter. With the additional information. With the additional information that he's received tonight. Second. We've got a motion and a second to have Derek go ahead and go forward with sending the letter with the additional information that he's received on the building on the chart. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Send the draft of the letter to the council as well before it gets mailed out. And that way, if there's any strong objections or any real requests for any kind of change, then you know, speak a piece. But other than that, we'll get it sent out. Thank you. Okay. Um, just to keep you updated, I know that I still need to get a uh, BNR services building or BNR building and real services contractor agreement around. I haven't forgotten about it, but I don't have it done yet. Um, and then the last thing I had was this resolution uh, concerning the exchange of the real estate. It's a resolution that basically permits and authorizes the town to go ahead and uh, close on that transaction. It's resolution 2017-2. I don't think it was in your packets, was it? No. Okay, that, yes, and that's my fault. If I didn't send it, there's no way it could have been in your packets. But there it is. And it's just a resolution, not an ordinance. Yes, and again, for the minutes in the record on this meeting as well, again, we had notice uh, published of a public hearing which was held immediately prior to this meeting. Uh, that notice was published on January 20th, 2017. We have the publisher's claim uh, back from the Plymouth pilot. I move to pass resolution 2017-2. I second. A motion and a second to pass resolution 2017-2. Any further discussion? <coughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. 2017-2 was uh, for the ITAMCO land swap. So everybody knows there's three copies of the rest of the I think that's all I have. I move that we accept the attorney's report. A second. A motion and a second to accept the attorney report. All in favor say aye. 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 Carries. Next up is the EMS building. Um, well, I tore the walls off and do you want to talk about it? I will. <laughs> <laughs> um, been working with Jamie and the guys from uh, Jamie Lindstrom and the guys from town over there. I think we've come to the conclusion. I I know what the problem has been over time. Uh, we're looking at getting some quotes um, and on fixing and repairing that. Um, these are the same problems that have been there for many years. Um, the building is solid and sound, um, and I think with the repairs that need to be done and the way that's going to be done would be putting it back into good shape. I 
though there's been a discussion about tearing the building down um, and starting over, and I understand that frustration um, because you've put money in it over the years to fix problems, but um, problems somehow got overlooked and, and the source wasn't found, but I think we know what it is and know how to fix it. So if anybody has any questions later on, um, I think Jamie's uh, trying to get some ballpark quotes so that next month he can be in and say this might be the range that it would cost to fix what it is. Thank you, Chuck. So we're going to move forward. Argus Youth League. Letter from Peter Paul. I was wondering if it would be possible for the Argus Youth League to hold our registration days at the BNR building on Saturday, February 25th, and Saturday, March 4th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Please let me know if this is something that can be worked out. We have not printed our registration forms yet, but would like to get that done very shortly. Thank you. <coughs> so they already use it during the week. What days they use it? Okay. Uh, they only use it like once, maybe once or once a month, I think. But Third Tuesday? Yes. Yeah. Right, you have it with you. <laughs> <laughs> um, the only problem I have is if somebody wants to rent it, then it's a loss of revenue on a Saturday. But that's up to you guys. I don't have a problem with them using it right now. Those gates are both open. Well, it only comes once a year. I'm not against no, it. No, I'm not I'm either. I'm just saying it only comes once a year. If it's not spoken for, and it is open, it's available, I see, yes. It's 10 to 1 on those two Saturdays. Yeah. And it's pretty, you know. You still so. might be able to rent it out if somebody wanted a later in the afternoon party, you know what I mean? Second to allow the Argus Youth League to use the BNR building on Saturday, February 25th, and Saturday, March 4th, from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Um, all in favor say aye. Well, I'm going to say as long as, well, you said it's not rented out, so yeah, we're making a motion. So. so all in favor say aye. Aye. So motion carries. <coughs> Board openings, same thing, Marshall County Tourism, Planning Commission, Redevelopment, and BZA. Submit a letter to Lisa in the clerk's office. Uh, any other old business? New business. Some important dates relative to the comp plan 
as uh, process as we near completion of that. Uh, I expect that a public notice will be issued on the 3rd, which is this Friday. We'll coordinate that with things up. Public notices begins the 30-day public input process, if you will. Uh, that's by state statute, state law requires that the public be able to comment on that. Uh, there is a meeting on the 13th, which will be held at the auditorium, where the Comp Plan Steering Committee will conduct a, uh, this is your comp plan open to the general public for comments. There's uh, quite a bit of activity to try to draw um, residents from Argus to that particular meeting. And I forget the time, is that 6.30? Um, it's not on my calendar right now. 6.30. So, um, and then we will close the uh, public comment period on the 3rd of March, <coughs> and hopefully um, conduct a planning, plan commission meeting on the 13th, so the plan can be adopted. So I give a period of time so the Commission can conduct their business and get up to speed with the uh, comp plan itself. And state statute requires that the plan Commission adopt the comp plan. And we end up on the 15th, potentially, at least that's the target right now, where you will have the comp plan in front of you so you can adopt the comp plan as well. So those are the dates uh, that we're working towards. Uh, there may be some adjustments. There's uh, several public notices in that. Ten days for public uh, public notice for the Planning Commission. Ten days for uh, uh, Town Council as well. So uh, NACOG will be coordinating a lot of those dates with Lisa and the notice of doubt. Not only about uh, whatever you post those, but also in the papers. So, I think we've got our cases covered. It's been uh, a good process. It's been a lot of good fun. And we're coming down to the wire. The, the steering committee has reviewed the draft copy of the plan. And I think they're comfortable with, with, uh, with what's included. But they, the steering committee will be conducting the public forum on the 13th themselves. We'll be there to support if there's some answers or some questions that are asked. And uh, they need some technical advice or, or responses to those. So, uh, really don't need to take any action on that tonight. It's more of information. Okay. The other item uh, that I'd like uh, to bring up to the council uh, you had me explore some uh, fact finding, uh, not only in the speedway. I'm glad to see that that you're moving that particular item forward, but also relative to uh, housing options for the town itself. Um, and I think that by the 13th, I'll be in a position to make some recommendations. I'd like to uh, have a executive committee beforehand, so I can uh, do some briefing, uh, and then we can take that, uh, take some of those items at that particular time to council later on that evening that I like authorization to proceed and, uh, and get to appraisals on some property that you had me look into. Something similar to when we did the speedway due diligence. Now you're saying you want an executive session of the next meeting or before the next meeting? On the 13th. The right. 13th's on Monday, isn't it? Oh, I'm sorry, 15th. Yeah, you're right. Maybe the same day as possible. Right. 
And, and, and my goal there uh, uh, is to add on to Derek's comments is to have the appraisals at that meeting so he can make decisions at council. So you want us to move on now? Go ahead with the appraisal. Yes, sir. I make a motion we go ahead and let Jerry move on with the appraisals. Second. A motion and a second to allow Jerry to move and uh, continue with the two appraisals on the property. That Looking at. Thank you. Favor, say aye. 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 Motion carries. Not me. Huh? I have premature my thing. Oh. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is there any other old business? I don't know if this is old or new. We have the visitor's guide, and I know it's there's varying opinions out there, but the one thing we've all talked about, this town needs marketing. We have to market ourselves. And so I did commit to a page in here, which is $800. So if the town wants to approve it, if not, I'll write the check myself. So that's up to this town. I got approval from the school board to go in a third. And I got I haven't gotten approval from the town council for their third, but the park board said no. I don't see why we have to go third season. We're all one community. Oh, I that's how we did it last year, so that's the way I was told to pursue it. So we just pay for it. We will do, I say we just pay for it. I'd like to make a motion that the council just pay for it. I'll second the motion. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. <coughs> Alright, new business. <coughs> Argus Community Development Corporation. Which is for the festival. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you all got the email I sent you. Mm -hmm. uh, just like last year, we're back to ask for part of our funding. Uh, I tried to explain what we do with your money. Uh, fireworks, we put fish in your pond, and you pay for our insurance policy. Uh, the rest of the funding we actually get from donations. So we've got about a $22,000 budget. So uh, the 10,000 requests that we've been getting covers about 45% of that. So we would hope that you continue that as you have in years past. Uh, obviously, our ending goal in all this is to become self-funded. We just are going to have to have some time. Uh, we are very pleased with what did occur last year. We're already adding to that. So uh, we're still going to keep it just the day and a half. It's going to be June 23rd and 24th. Uh, so we'll end on the 24th with the fireworks. Uh, still have musical acts and kids events during the day, food booths. So we had, there are, we've added some things that obviously, the park has added some features that are going to bring more things as well. We've got, we'll have the sand pit volleyball. Um, our anticipation is to have the, um, or anticipate having the um, uh, horseshoe pits done. So, I mean, a couple of different things. We want to add more sporting events this year, uh, as well as we did meet, and there is going to be, I believe, the, this, well, John, the good John Vanderwill. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Um, but anyway, uh, John G. Vanderwill is actually uh, put together and is spearheading a, a, a run that day. They're going to have a, a 5K for dollars for dollars for dollars. So I mean, they're going to put a run together. Um, this going to we got a, a barbecue cook-off that's going to happen. So we have backyard barbecue cook-off. So people can come in, bring their own cookers and stuff. We've got that. Like, there's going to be a lot of different things this year. First year, a lot of learning uh, experiences. Some some things we're going to do differently and some things we're not going to do that we did last year so I mean hopefully the, the, as Mark said the plan is as we go on that um, we are self-sufficient self -sufficient. we don't need to come and ask for, for as much money but the majority of the money went and I, I mean I 
I, I heard personally a million comments, an exaggeration, but um, a, a ton of comments about the fireworks. I mean, nobody expected it to be what it was. Yeah. So I mean, I think that's actually going to change for, for this year. People, it's out there. They know it's going to be an awesome fireworks show for what we have. And I think we'll, we expect to draw more people than we had last year. And for what we pay him, we can't complain. No. And he's local. He's right here in town. So I mean, he cuts us a heck of a deal. We get there. He do, we, we get a good show. We get it over a, a, over a probably $12,000 show for about half that. So he, he treats us very well. You guys did a great job last year. Thanks. And I mean, there was more than just just us. I mean, there's a lot of people. That's, well, that's the awesome thing. thing. I mean, we get a lot of people involved. You know, Mark Thompson was there. You know, different people in the community there doing things. And it was a good time. We had a lot of fun. And by me, anybody that wants to help, we always can help. <laughs> It was, a, it was a good time. I mean, it's, it's awesome. We're going to do a little bit different with, with the rides and kids stuff this year too. So it should be, a, it, it'll be a lot, a lot better than it was last year. I move that we donate the 10000 I second. And a motion and a second to donate the 10000 to the Argus Community Development Corporation for the festival. The summer Please. festival, right? All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Any other new business? <coughs> well, for the last meeting, I had suggested we give reports on what we do. And I have a report that's what I did in January. If you'd like me to give it. Okay, I participated in three steering committee meetings on the 3rd, 5th, and 12th. I met with Jim and Jamie discussing utility issues. I am their utility liaison on the 13th, 16th, and 23rd. I also met with Jim and Jamie and with Umwan Associates on the water and wastewater studies on the 17th. I attended the park board meeting, for which I'm liaison, on the 19th. On the 24th, I met with Jennifer Vandenberg from Oprah. We had a very good meeting. I attended the IMPA dinner at Christos. And between the 5th and the 31st, I had numerous communications with Chuck on setting up the speedway inspection and getting that completed. And obviously, this does not include the council meetings, the executive session, the work session on rate studies, the cemetery meeting, and all the prep and research that goes into the me these meetings, or the phone calls and communications related to so that's what I did for the town during January. So I think we need to be accountable to the people. They need to know that we are working for them. I, uh, I had surgery this month, so I was kind of down and out, but I uh, took pictures of the Speedway. I don't have a formal report, sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, I took pictures over the speedway and uh, sent them to all the council members. Um, and I went and looked at the EMS building and with Jamie. Went to all went to the council meetings. I didn't go to the, uh, the steering committee meeting because it was right after surgery. <coughs> so that's what I did. I was unprepared that we were doing this now because I missed last meeting, so I can assure you, you will have my report every meeting. Any other changes? I, I would, on behalf of the Park Department and Park Board, um, Suzanne, she is, she does go, even before she was our liaison, she did attend the meetings, but um, we are in the process of doing some uh, upgrades at the um, uh, Memorial Park. We want to do some, some different things in there, kind of spruce it up, remove some of the old stuff. And we have asked whether it's a community member or a board member or whatever, if you have any suggestions or something you would like to see in that park, to at least let us know. Um, it's not, you know, the five of us that sit there, or four of us that attend most of the time, but. Um, the four of us that sit up there, or five of us, that it's not our park, it's everybody's park. And we want, you know, what's what's important to you guys. I mean, we, we do the best we can sometimes, and sometimes we'll do something and hear, well, we didn't really like that. We'd rather have had this, but nobody ever told us. So, 
if you do get anybody that says they want something, you know, have them call me, contact me, whatever, or relay it back to me, however you like, because we do want to do some um, some different things. But we're looking for input from the community, what they want. It's their property. So. I've heard from Beer Garden to all the stuff. Actually, I've had a lot of people quarter me on a beer garden. Are you guys planning on replacing the equipment? Or? So, some of it, yes, because a lot of it's outdated and it's unsafe. We right. have removed some pieces, obviously, that were unsafe. We just we didn't replace those. Um, but that's the thing. Right? We are actually, I believe Joe had talked at the last meeting, we are going to put a half-court basketball down there. The school had donated to us some um, brand new basketball goals that they had, so um, they're nice ones. So we're going to actually try to utilize those, put a half court down there. Because we think, even though the church has one there, that, I mean, it, it gets used a lot. We think that if we could get one there, it's a little bit nicer. It's there's a, there's a lot of need for things on the south end of town too. It isn't, I mean, it isn't just that part. It's just I mean, those part, and the pond as well. I mean, they're all it's all get yeah, all three together. So I mean. Whatever we can do to improve them, that's what that's what we're looking for. We're looking for ways to do that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Claims ninety four through one forty eight. <coughs> the total docket for February second, twenty sixteen, is two hundred seventy thousand six hundred forty dollars and eighty seven cents. The top five claims are as followed. Number one is IMPA for $146,872.51. Number two is Anthem at $32,500.58. Number three is payroll number two at $29,647.77. For public services at $12,113.64. And Marshall County Sheriff for our dispatch fees of $8,360. For a total of $229,494.50, and that represents 85% of the total docket. Lisa, am I correct? The dispatch fees, that's an annual fee? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's 83. <coughs> And you notice that the anthem is for two months. January and February. So the goal is also there's so I make a motion to accept clean docket for the verse. Got a motion. Second. Second. Got a motion for a second to accept clean docket. <coughs> 94, the claims 94 through 148 for February 2nd, 2017. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carries. Do you have anything else? No, sir. Do you have anything else? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got a motion? Motion to adjourn. Second. Motion and second. All in favor say aye. 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 aye.